another session of warsheeplaptops.net. In this session, we're going to show you how to calibrate the CF53 touchscreen. Uh, here's Ryan, and he's going to explain the whole thing right here. Okay, so here's the CF53. All right. So the easiest way to do it is you can hit the. Um, you can either go to your Start button down here, or you can just hit your Windows key. It'll do the same thing. Just type in the word calibrate. And it'll be the second option there, calibrate the screen for pen and touch input. Now this image is based off a factory image from Panasonic. Alright, now let's go ahead. We already have it calibrated, so we'll reset it first. To remove all the data, just in case there's an old file on there. Then we'll hit calibrate. Yes, and then follow the instructions on the screen, which is basically just taking your pen and touching each little crosshair. It'll just go from left to right, top to bottom, which tests all the parameters of the touch screen and its functionality. There we go. Normally it's just a light press, sometimes you press a little harder, but you should be able to feel it out pretty easily. Once that's done, do you want to save the calibration? Hit yes. Now the calibration will still be off as of now until you hit yes. Then your new calibration will take into effect. So everything will be pinpoint accuracy after that point. Everywhere you touch on the screen should be exactly where you touch it now. You can draw and go anywhere you want and your touch screen is fully calibrated. How about the corners? Yeah, all the corners? All the corners, as, as far as you can touch into that corner, it'll take it. You can go all the way to the edge if we want. You can just dance around the edge there. So there shouldn't be anything you shouldn't be able to click on. Oh. Thank you, Ryan. And mm -hmm. here's the model number of the uh, machine. CF53, Windows 7, and there you go. Thank you for taking a look. Uh, once again, please take a look at our website, warsheeplaptops.net, uh, for top books, and we'll be putting in more videos, informational videos. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan.